So whether or not you like the new iOS 7 software update from Apple, it's here to stay. That is until they do another software update. For the Omaha News, I'm Paul Dobler. So remember, the next time you think you don't like math, that it's all around us every day. Three, two, one. There is excitement brewing amongst faculty, students, and the community now that sports are going to be played once again on Coniglia Field. Electronic cigarettes. Or e-cigs as they're called come in different sizes and colors and are battery operated. You pick a juice which come in different flavors and is made up of propylene glycol, glycerin, flavoring and can contain nicotine. The smoke you see is not smoke. In fact, it is an odorless vapor. There are different opinions on whether they are good or not. I don't really care for them. I'd rather smoke regular cigarettes because these don't really taste like regular cigarettes. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot more convenient. You don't have to dispose of any cigarettes. It's clean. You can do it inside, outside. So, I mean, there's a lot of more advantages to it. The big deal with e-cigs is that there are currently no federal regulations in place. The FDA is rumored to be making decision on this by the end of October. In light of the pending FDA regulations, many businesses are self-regulating. Self-regulation like in the store when you walk in, there's big signs that if you're under 18, you can't sell, you can't purchase. And that's what a lot of people are doing. While electronic cigarettes could be a good alternative to smoking, it'll be interesting to see what the FDA does in the coming weeks. For the Omaha News, I'm Paul Dobler. Math Alive, an exhibit that shows us how math is used in everyday life. That's awesome! Math is used in skateboarding. This exhibit shows viewers how a skateboarder speeds up and slows down with the use of angles. The 360 degree sequencing exhibit uses 20 stationary cameras to take your action photo to teach you about circumference of circles by relating it to photography. And it's a pretty popular exhibit. You get to see yourself like in midair on the camera. So remember, the next time you think you don't like math, that it's all around us every day. Three, two, one. The exhibit shows kids and adults how math can be fun. Math doesn't need to be boring straight out of a textbook. It can be fun. And this is how we bring math to life and for fun. The exhibit answers the age-old question of when am I ever going to use this in my life by showing visitors that we already use math every day. So whether we ride our bike, snowboard, go rock climbing, or even the next time you drive over a bridge, remember that math is at work in everything we do and we use it every day. Coniglia Field, once home to the UNO football team, is now home to the men's and women's soccer team, but it also got a makeover. It's definitely one of a kind turf field, especially here in, a, in the U.S. The turf's technology comes from Italy and not only plays like real grass, but feels like grass too. I think it's just an amazing field. I think it's going to be it is a great addition to our soccer program. The men's and women's team are set to play a few games on the new pitch before their season's end, which is good for the university and soccer programs. There is excitement brewing amongst faculty, students, and the community now that sports are going to be played once again on Coniglia Field. It's the energy. The energy, the, the environment. It's. It's definitely uh, something that we're excited about. The men's soccer team played their first game on the new pitch as they hosted Oral Roberts this past Saturday. A good crowd showed up to see the match, including the UNO marching band, who put on a show during the half. The Mavericks would go on to lose the game 2-1, but have two more home games on the new pitch before the season is over. For the Omaha News, I'm Paul Doppler. 
One ABC News reporter went on air to get a mammogram to set an example and save lives, but instead she ended up saving her own. One month ago, ABC's Good Morning America reporter Amy Robach received a mammogram on live television for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Monday she revealed that her test came back positive for breast cancer and hopes her story will inspire other women to receive examinations as well. The Affordable Care Act has survived a Supreme Court appeal and a government shutdown, but now it is losing support with the Congressional Democrats. Many of the Democrats in Congress are unhappy that the Affordable Care Act has led to many families having to drop their health insurance plans instead of keeping their pre-existing plans like President Obama had promised. Former Democratic President Bill Clinton voiced his disapproval and said President Obama needs to honor his promises. The MLB playoffs has already been an exciting one. The Atlanta Braves were eliminated by the Dodgers on Monday night. 2009 was the last time LA was in the NLCS. They will play the winner of tonight's game, five, between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the St. Louis Cardinals. First, pi first pitch for that game is set for seven o'clock. The Tigers beat the Athletics last night to tie the series at two apiece. The deciding game five will be tomorrow in Oakland at seven o'clock. The winner of the Tigers and Athletics series will play the Red Sox in the ALCS after they eliminated the Rays in a 3-1 ball game last night in Tampa Bay. Both championship series will start this weekend with the NLCS on Friday and the ALCS on Saturday. From all of us here at the Omaha News, good night.